reading from verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness is a free gift of God, provided by our Lord Jesus Christ, a Calvary, through the grace of God. It means being in right standing with God, a right living, a right believing. This is not referring to your good work. It is referring to God's righteousness. The kingdom of God is a kingdom of righteousness. It's God's nature bestowed on man through our Lord Jesus Christ. Why consciousness is a mindset personally developed and programmed to believe in any particular thing. In a certain way, it is a belief system that you allow to control your life. Righteousness, consciousness is having your mindset configured or programmed with a thought, with a belief that you share God's nature of righteousness with Him by being born again. Obsessively aware that you are righteous, regardless of your positivities. Having Christ in you, being washed by the blood of Jesus. Self-righteousness is morality without Christ. Check it out in the book of Mark 10, from verse 17 to 22. Some people think that they are righteous because they are morally sound. Or don't do evil. But this is not true. You are not righteous because you don't commit sin. You are only righteous when you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Self-righteousness does not guarantee heaven. Isaiah 64 from verse 6a says, But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are effectuous. Practical righteousness is when you are living right as a child of God based on the standard of the word of God. John 1, 1 John 3 from verse 7 says, Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. In the book of Acts 10, 35 says, But in every nation, he that feareth him and walketh righteousness is accepted of him. Positional righteousness is not by marriage. Good works are living right, but it is the free gift of God. It is not what you did or end, but what Jesus did on your behalf. Righteousness is God's clothing you with his divine nature. And the moment you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, your heart is sanctified and purified. When you accept Jesus Christ, you move into a position of new birth. God accepts you on the basis of what Jesus did. Not what you did. Just like you became, you became a nationality of your country by being born in that country. You are positioned in righteousness the moment you become born again. Isaiah 43, 25 saying, I, even I, am he that blotted out the transgression for my own sake and will not remember your sin anymore. Hebrews 8 from verse 12 say, For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sin and their iniquities will I remember no more. The grace of God walk for Paul so much that he walked with righteousness, consciousness. Paul had depth of understanding that he had more result than any of the apostles in the Bible. The Bible says, For you have heard of my conversation in time past. In the Jewish religion, how the beyond measure I persecuted the church of God. Paul was the one speaking here. Paul understood. God's forgiveness and the effect of God's righteousness on him when he got born again. He walked in that consciousness 
I declare upon your life today, may you walk in righteousness. May you have a right standing with God, a right believing with God, a right living with God in the name of Jesus Christ. May you walk, may you have right standing with God, right living and right believing in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord sanctify and purify your heart today. Every bitterness and anger is not of God. Unforgiveness is not of God. May you walk in divine victory over sin. Everything dominating your conscience, your conscience, everything dominating your heart, that is not of God, I declare them out of your life today. Jesus conquered the world. He gave us the victory. Walk in that divine victory. In Jesus' name I declared. Amen.